So today we're going to be making a chicken curry. We love our curries and chickens, the protein of the day. So we got out most of our ingredients, carrots, garlic, a little wine for deglazing, onions, bell pepper, some coconut milk, and we're using a pre-made curry mix today. Yeah. And we got our chicken, which we've cubed, and some potatoes we've cubed. And we're going to start off cooking our chicken here in some olive oil. And we're going to serve our curry over some basmati rice. But you can use whatever rice you like. We're going to brown our chicken. And then we're going to remove it from the pan, set it aside. And we're going to start adding our vegetables and building up our curry sauce. Once we deglaze the pan with the wine, or if you want to use vinegar instead, you can use vinegar. We'll cook it down until most of the liquids evaporate it. We'll add a little oil back in, and then we'll add in our carrots. Cook the carrots a few minutes, and then add in our other vegetables, minus the potato, until those are wilted. going to cook all this until it softens up and then we're going to add in our coconut milk and our curry sauce. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to add in our curry paste and we may add a little bit more liquid just to make sure we have the right consistency that we like. This is a paste, not a powder, so it's going to thicken everything up. So you add water as needed to get it the consistency you want for your sauce on your curry. So you're going to bring your mixture to a boil. Once you've had it boiling for about a minute or two, you're going to add your chicken back in. And you're also going to add in your potatoes. You're going to reduce your heat to medium. And you're going to simmer it for at least 25-30 minutes or until your potatoes are fork tender. And if you need to, as you're cooking this mixture, you can always add a little bit of water in if it gets too thick, but you want to play that by ear. And about 10 minutes before you think it's done is with anything you're cooking, you want to taste your food and then adjust your seasonings accordingly. If it needs more salt, more pepper, more garlic, you can do that at the end also. So... We're going to stir our curry every 5 to 10 minutes, make sure it doesn't burn on the bottom, and to make sure everything stays blended together.
friends. We are sitting down enjoying our chicken curry meal and we're going to go around the table and hopefully everybody enjoys it. Full disclaimer, if you couldn't tell by the hands, Mrs. SG was cooking <laughs> this, not the sapper today, so we know it's going to be good. Uh, SK1, how is it? It's very good. Is it spicy? Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite meals that we've made on the channel. Okay, Mrs. SG, made by your hands, how is it? It's a perfect way to end the day on a rainy day. Yeah, it's been raining mm -hmm. all weekend here. SK1, where is your chicken curry? <laughs> it became nuggets. It turned into um, chicken nuggets? I'm SK2. We got to edit that part out then. Okay, cut. Okay. Action. SK2, how is your chicken curry? Did it turn into chicken nuggets? Um, yes. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to give everybody a mukbang moment. Mm. So, anyone who's not a fan of curry, I don't know why you aren't, because this is a perfect food. You got everything in there, your proteins, your vegetables, everything's just good. So... On behalf of the family, I'm going to sign out so we can chow down. Hopefully you can see all of us, or most of us. Okay, here we go. That's a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So, even though you can't see me, I'm shaded out now. On behalf of the family, uh, SAI's Family Garden, this is Rob the Sapper Gardener saying God bless our great nation America, and God bless you wherever you reside around the world. Take care. Sapper out and escape to out. Take it. Take care, everyone.